Ladies and gentlemen, the American jury and Bulldog Nation, Joe Biden's coming to Cincinnati. We need to sing a parody song. Biden is coming to town. By the way, can you imagine if Joe Biden actually went to the UFC fights? <laughs> Saturday Night Live ought to do a spoof about him doing that. <laughs> it would be hysterical. But good old Joe's coming, I think, July 21st to Cincinnati. Are you going? <laughs> He's going to have flashcards, teleprompter. All right. Biden's administration, led by his Department of Homeland Security Secretary, are telling Haitians and Cubans, don't come here. Really? They let all the drug dealers come. They let MS-13, they want all the people that want to suck off Americans' largesse come. But the Cubans, the people leaving a communist country, torn, uh, uh, not war-torn, a torn-up country, communist country, they can't come? <laughs> Haitians can't come? Unbelievable. <laughs> I'm telling you, Biden likes communists because he's a member of the American Communist 10. Biden goes bonkers. They have these frozen screens. His, his mouth, you know. He goes bonkers about these election laws, calling it worse than the Civil War, Civil War, blah, blah, blah. And he just lies. He is a shameless, he's like Hillary and the rest of Obama. These are just politicians who lie, 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 while claiming the other side's lying. Transference, they do it every day. Everybody knows these election laws are only to prevent cheating. Prevent cheating. And it's literally driving Joe Biden hysterical. Hysterical. And by the way, for all of you who are thinking, oh, we're going to win in the midterms. Folks, nobody takes office from the midterms for a year and a half. They have pressed their foot on the accelerator of destroy America. What's going to be left a year and a half from now when they get done with it? I mean, I'm sorry, folks. Don't get me wrong. I want to win the midterms. Nobody takes office in the midterms for a year and a half. Scary stuff. Uh, Sebelius, Obama's uh, health secretary, says regarding the unvaccinated, they should not be allowed to work and be around kids. Well, guess what? I'm around my angels all day long, and I nor them have been vaccinated. Stick it, Sebelius. Then Geraldo, Geraldo, the little weasel that he's become, he says, same thing, stores, schools, and jobs. Should stay away from him. He's got a right to protect his children from the unvaccinated. Unfreaking believable. All stooges. And then last on this list, Fauci says, of course, People who are, kids who are three years old and up should uh, wear masks even if they're vaccinated. Why does Fauci hate three-year-olds and kids so much? Fauci the clown. By the way, Fauci's gonna go down in American history as one of the biggest frauds ever, ever. Gun laws. Hey, all those gun, gun owners, we had a big victory. It was found unconstitutional by a circuit court, federal circuit court, that you can't prevent somebody under 21 from buying a gun. You know what, why can't an 18, 19, 20, 21 year old buy guns? Remember the old saying, they can go to war, they can die for your country, but they can't buy a gun. Make, and they can vote, but they can't buy a gun, makes no sense. Uh, consumer prices are up 5.4%. I'm telling you folks, inflation, and the, another item on my show here is gonna reflect, it's gonna even get worse. They don't care about inflation. They don't care about the little guy. They only care about the American Communist 10. All you poor people need to wake the hell up. Uh, in the Navy, they're so caught up on diversification, there are some real concerns that our Navy's battle ready to take on the Chinese, the Russians, or maybe even Brunei's Navy. I mean, come on, man. The Philippine Navy. Because, well, wait a minute, am I allowed to shoot that person? Are we allowed to drop a bomb? Are we allowed to send our airplanes? There's black people in that country. Uh, there's some gay people. We can't drop, that's gonna be the next thing. You can't bomb gay people. You can't bomb black people. You can't bomb Muslim people. 
I mean, it's just gotten crazy. Uh, CNN's Gergen. He's saying, he, this guy, man, all, all these people that flip to the other side for monetary purposes to be a CNN suck up, David Gergen is right up there with the rest of them. David Gergen's still sounding the alarm about January 6th and Trump and the threat to the democracy. Well, I went through the list of what's under attack, folks. They're the ones who are a threat to democracy, and it ain't even close. Oh, we want to keep the First and Second Amendment in due process under the 14th Amendment, uh, the Fifth Amendment, oh, Sixth Amendment. Oh, we're the threat to democracy, not Kavanaugh. I want to tell you about old Kavanaugh. Trump's speaking out, very disappointed in this guy, you know. You know what really pisses me off about Amy Comey Barrett and Kavanaugh and the rest of them is this. Look at the hell. Trump and all of the people that supported these people go through to get them nominated. Get them approved. All the hell they go through. And then they turn. There are, you know what? They're just typical freaking lawyers. Newsflash, the legal profession and 90% of the people in it suck, Kevin all included. $3.3 tri trillion infrastructure bill. Apparently they're going to do this uh, through reconciliation. The Democrats are going to go it alone now. Go it alone. $3.5 trillion. Not $1.9, $3.5 trillion. Telling you folks. Let me tell you why they're trying to destroy America. They're trying to destroy America because they know when there's destruction and chaos, government reigns supreme and they run the government. That, that sums it all up, folks. You say, well, why would they do this, Bulldog? Why they? That's why. They, they run the government. The more power government has, I mean, these guys are drunk on power. Drunk on power. So today, Jackie Chan gets the Jack yeah, Wagon Jack of the Wagon. day. Jackie Chan. Good old Jackie Chan is all for the Communist Party. Yeah, I wonder why, Jackie Chan. I never watched one of your dumb movies again. Uh, Mrs. Chris Cuomo was in the little black book of Epstein. Let's speculate why. Let's drive Chris Cuomo crazy. Was he, was she somebody that Epstein was fooling around with? Was she somebody that worked for Epstein and Various capacities? Hmm. Wow, Chris. Somebody's got some explaining to do. Chick-fil-A's under attack for their LBGT policies. It's America. You know what, the way I look at it, if Chick-fil-A, by the way, is not Chick-fil-A an incredibly wonderful food company? I mean, who doesn't love Chick-fil-A? Today's Oracle status goes to Chick-fil-A. You know what? Leave Chick-fil-A alone, you liberal assholes. All right, last but not least, this professor in Penn State just singled out a white guy and a black guy and just took them to task big time, big time. Like, white guy's always going to win. That's the way it's set up. That is so bogus. I had a meeting yesterday with somebody who supervises, supervises, blacks and some gays and they told me that no matter what the black person did could not fire them gay person come and work late every day an hour late could not do anything about it they had to mold everything around the black guy and the gay guy couldn't fire them couldn't discipline them there is in this country black privilege gay privilege it exists it's not discrimination anymore, it's privilege. This is the Bulldog, special show today on what tyrants do. You gotta check it out. This is the Bulldog, every dog has their day. I hope you have a great day.